Today's episode is presented by Lodestar, the fee experts. Hi, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Lodestar's Lending Leaders. Today, we're wrapping up Women's History Month. Um, all month, we've had women on our podcast highlighting uh, leadership in the industry. And today, I'm joined with our uh, very own Director of Customer Success, Kelsey Wright. So, Hello. thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, we are in person together today, which is so special because um, we're at the Simple Nexus user group. Um, it is absolutely beautiful here. And yeah, so thank you so much, Kelsey, for joining me. It was a little weird waking up this morning to the avalanche mitigation bombs. Um, oh my gosh. It, it is gorgeous, but that was a little bit scary. <laughs> yeah, the bombs this morning were a lot. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk a little bit today about our experiences in our professional careers as well as our experience since we've joined the mortgage industry. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Kelsey, how, where did, what was your first job? Out of college? Yeah, in just in general. My first job was um, for a tech startup company that does um, online e-commerce reviews. Mm -hmm. And I was actually in the sales department and I did 80 cold calls a day. Oh my God. <laughs> so um, that was interesting, learned a lot, mm -hmm. of course. Um, and then I moved up to the customer success department as a CSM. Mm -hmm. um, and then now I'm here, I guess. <laughs> And I know one thing, you know, we've talked a little bit about this month is mentorship, and I know you've been involved with quite a bit of those programs for, for women. Um, you know, how has mentorship impacted your career and, you know, how you feel about the careers of others as well? Yeah, I, I think just, like, learning from everyone's experience is really helpful when you don't have a lot of experience. This, You know, this was, like, five years ago when I really was – new to the work world and that can be like super intimidating especially mm -hmm. being a woman um and it's just like all about women helping women I just yeah. lo love that yeah and we have to lean on each other and just what you learn from experience and from people and and it's exciting now that I think we're both at the point in our careers where like we now can pass that along to someone who we were in their position you know five years ago yeah so I, that's really, um, I, I love that, so, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think something, you know, we don't talk about a ton in the industry is just kind of, you know, when we talk about organizations like NAMBA, they include women as a minority um, in the mortgage industry. Um, how was it coming into the industry for you? Did you feel outnumbered? You know, when you walk into those rooms, sometimes it can be a little intimidating. Yeah. My first conference was very scary. <laughs> very scary. Very mm -hmm. intimidating. Um, and I feel like it's definitely changed. Mm -hmm. It's definitely gotten so much better. Um, I feel like, not that they didn't want women to succeed before, but now, you know, it's, it's definitely a lot better. Um, obviously with the knowledge I know now, it's not as intimidating. And mm -hmm. again, I want to pass that to women that are just starting in this industry because, yeah. you know, it, it, it can be scary. Yeah. And I think, you know, going to sessions is so important. Um, the MBA has great resources like Empower um, and even Impact. You know, the Young Professionals Organization is a little bit more concentrated. I think it's a little bit more diverse, honestly. Mm -hmm. Um, which is really nice and you know I've met some great people through that and I think as a female in the industry kind of reaching out when you go to a show and, and finding other women that you can bond with and have that experience and find that safe space is so important um, at shows yeah going to Empower for the first time was amazing it, it like mm -hmm. opened my eyes up to like so much more um, so yeah I definitely love that yeah Empower's events uh, are great they do I'm, great events so if you have an opportunity, go to one. <laughs> Definitely. Um, yeah. So what would you, you know, kind of say to your younger self coming into this industry? I think that's something, you know, I am always scared of that. I think Even. just try to learn as much as possible. Um, whether you 
do it on your own or your company you know gives you the opportunity just learning as much as possible in this industry will just open your eyes up to so much more and just help connect a lot of things um I don't know what I don't know do you have advice for what, what would be <laughs> um, advice I think for your younger self that's great um I think for me it's really just you know one be a little bit more I don't want to say cautious but one thing I that really shocked me and I've spoke on this before is I came from a very um female predominant industry uh you know events is not a, a huge amount of these people are women I served on a board of 15 with only one male which is crazy right yeah. um and then coming into the mortgage space it's very much the reverse of that um, and I think just giving myself, you know, be cautious, but be confident would be kind of my advice to my past self. And also, you know, one thing I've really discovered in, with women in the industry is we're all here to help each other out. Um, you know, when I started going to shows, I just kind of talking to women in bathrooms and, you know, com like talking about comfortable shoes and all of that really just allowed me to kind of feel more at home in the industry um, and also build some of those lasting connections that I still have now um, from some of those early shows. Yeah. It's just, you know, we got to stick together. And I think women, everyone knows how, the women know how it is in this industry. So they're always trying to help other women out. That's what I love. Yeah. I really love that. Yeah. We're all, we're all in it together for sure. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, we don't have a ton to really go over um, today, but I know since I think we last spoke, you have gotten your Encompass admin certification mm -hmm. um, as well as brought on a new team member. So yeah. Yeah. how has how's it been since a year ago it's with been, Lodestar? It's been great. My team is absolutely amazing. Um, Jim, Mark, and Jessica, and then we just recently hired another um, member, Heather, and, and it's been amazing. They are mm -hmm. the hardest working team. and. I wouldn't be where I am today without them, and the company would not be where we are today without them. Mm -hmm. um, so that's been awesome. They're always wanting to learn, um, you know, offer them just like courses they can learn about, mm -hmm. more about the industry. Um, I love that, that they're just always, no matter how specific the question is, they're always asking questions, which I absolutely love. Um, the Encompass Admin course was amazing, very eye opening. Um, guys someone taking that mm -hmm. um they do a great job with training um yeah it's just it's been busy yeah it's been, it's been a year it's been a year and uh mba in the fall was great in nashville mm. yep so that was great it was awesome seeing clients um our clients are absolutely amazing mm -hmm. they are amazing to deal with and yeah so it's great to see them i saw some here which was great too yeah. Normally when we bring Kelsey to shows, it's uh, because we have a good number of clients attending so she can actually meet people in person. And I can kind of sell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have that sales salesperson gig. Exactly. You got it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. One thing I would say you touched on a little bit is resources and training materials. You know, at Lodestar, we're really about continuing education and, and we're really well supported by our C-suite in that, which is great. But if you don't have those same resources, you know, looking at things like podcasts and blogs and look at people that are doing great things on LinkedIn. Um, Sasha Star Stare, I think is our real last name, uh, with SnapDocs. She does amazing content. She Every Monday she puts out a newsletter with industry insights and information. Um, Delilah uh, Ramos, who we've had on our podcast, does Taco Tuesdays and does mortgage-related information. Um, Michelle, who we had on our podcast earlier this month, has been doing some great stuff um, recently and has been getting really involved talking about women and mentorship. And I think that's something, you know, LinkedIn is honestly a great resource for people. Um, if you're not seeing that same support that, you know, we would hope that you have, um, but we realize sometimes, you know, budgets are being cut right now, all of that. So, we, you know, if you're looking for resources, um, also please feel free to reach out to us. We'll see how we can best connect you and support you um, and put you in touch with someone who maybe can help you out. Also, YouTube has just great, just like demos, the amount of 
YouTube videos I watch that are for free mm -hmm. of just like, um, you know, people in the industry just like want to show like, hey, I had trouble with this. I figured a lot of other people were having trouble. Like, here's a demo video I made. I watch a lot of very mm -hmm. great YouTube videos that are just free. Yeah. And you can search whatever you want. You know, I watch a lot of like Encompass YouTube videos. Um, so I wouldn't have thought that would be a place to find, you know, great resources for the mortgage industry, but it, it really is. Yeah. Honestly, uh, that and uh, I think I've learned most of my Excel tricks from YouTube. Um, Absolutely. And we also use, uh, I've taken a couple Udemy courses, so it's U-D-E-M-Y. They're very affordable, very in-depth, and they normally do sales. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're looking into getting into, it's a little bit more technical, um, but if you want to get into coding or anything like that, um, that's a great resource as well. Um, I know our CTO loves that site. Um, every time there's a sale, he emails us and is like, hey, does anyone want anything? Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Also, I feel like our help center will eventually become a great resource. Mm -hmm. We've been really trying to build that out. Um, the marketing team has been amazing to help me with that. Um, whether it's specific to Lodestar or just Encompass, um, I'm, I get excited about continuing to build that out because you can mm -hmm. add endless help articles about that. Yeah, if you need information on fees, we are your resource. Yes. Um, it's, you know, we want to make this information at the end of the day easy to understand um, and valuable for you. So if there's something that you wish we were talking about more or something that you wish, you know, there was an article on, let us know. Um, we do honestly have a lot on our website. Um, that we can either direct you to, or if we don't have it, we can put it in our pipeline to create and give you a little bit of insight into it. Um, well, is there anything else you'd like to share with our listeners, Kelsey, before we wrap up today? Um, would it be noteworthy to mention the new transfer tax update for Encompass? Yeah. I'm not sure when this is going to come out, yeah, but well, I figured yeah. why not. So on Saturday, um, Encompass is releasing their... 23.1 release and obviously there's a boatload of items in that release but one that is important to us is the 1204 and 1205 lines for the transfer taxes are going to have the new drop down so it's either um, a tax or a stamp um, it's available for in everyone's test production environment as of right now just so you can like understand it um, so we're definitely trying to get feedback from our clients and how they want to see that done. Um, just because, of course, we can customize a lot and just this is new. So we don't know how they want to see it. So um, we've been re definitely reaching out to a lot of our clients just to see how they want it to look. So if, they're, if you have feedback for that, that would be great. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that will be in effect Saturday night. Um, so I think that's pretty important to mention. Yeah, it's a big update for us. Uh, this is being recorded on March 15th, so that would be Saturday the 18th. So it will be, this is going to be our wrap-up for Women's History Month, so that will be live for approximately two weeks before this. Um, so hopefully by then we'll have a full solution. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So um, I have a question for you. Okay. Will you be skiing today or tomorrow? I will be skiing tomorrow. I will be falling down a mountain. Um, Are you I'm, nervous? Are you excited? Um, I'm excited, but not excited for the bruises that I know I'm going to get. I'm not going to lie. It's it's pretty cool to say that you've skied at Snowboard, because Snowbird, because this is like the mecca for yeah. ski, skiers. So um, if you tell people you've skied here, they're going to think you're pretty good. Uh, we will be doing Baby Thunder is, is my goal. That's I, heard a, a, I heard it's a good run. I have, you know, we've been told it's good things. Uh, Kelsey is actually a fantastic skier. Uh, you grew up on skis, right? My dad put me on skis before I could walk. So I am, I've never skied here, and I am itching to get out on the slopes. I'm not going to lie, it's been pretty hard sitting here watching people ski while we're here, but I know tomorrow will be worth it to... We get, a, we get the ski day tomorrow, so it's going to be great. Excited. Well, thanks, you guys, so much for watching. Uh, we're going to let Kelsey escape here. 
um, so she can get back to our clients. But thank you so much for listening. And we'll be back to normal uh, scheduling next week. Um, So we're really excited about that. Um, But if you have someone you think should be on the podcast, please let us know. Um, We'll be wrapping up season three in very shortly. Three Um, seasons? Three seasons. This is season three. Oh, my God. Um, We will wrap up in two months. So we are very excited to close out season three and start prepping for season four. Um, But if there's anything you want to see us do, please let us know. Um, And thank you so much for listening. And we'll see you all next week. Thank you for listening to the Lodestar's Lending Leaders Podcast. Please like, subscribe, and rate us five stars anywhere you get your podcasts. A special thank you to the Lodestar Podcast Production team, Jim Paolino, Tim Austin, and John Gardner.